I'm going now. Yeah, go, go. Cap for the bombs. Yeah. Okay, so go, go. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, you're fucking going. Five, four, three. I'm on Barry. I'm gonna yeah. I'm all done. Nice. Fernando, you might all. Yeah, easy, yes, sir. Nice. Good call, guys. My name is Kevin, and I go by the name Lacey and Palance, and I'm 27 years old. The first PC game that I ever played was... What was it? Age of Empires, I think. But there was many older games, but I already forgot because I'm so old. <laughs> my name is Malcolm Ranch. Uh, my age is 22 years old, and my nickname in game is Bonka. I'm from Sweden, Gothenburg. Uh, I live on an island outside Gothenburg whose name is Jörn. I decided to go pro in Paladins because I saw that I had a talent in the game really quick. I played the game for about two weeks and already there I started to play the ESL tournaments and it went quite well. To begin with, I play League of Legends professionally and I decided to play Paladins instead as a, like, a game that I wanted to chill in and just waste a lot of money like in Hearthstone, like spend a lot of money on cards and all of a sudden it just went like we decided to just make a team and just started playing like slowly and just all of a sudden it became bigger and bigger and we just uh, stood with it. I decided to go pro in Paladins when they announced the first DreamHack in Sweden. That's when I like, I want to play this game. My name is Pasi Pilparinen, I'm 22 years old and my in-game name is Shiba. My name is Eric Bird Krastian, or Shosin in English. I'm 22 from Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, the first game I ever played was, and that's, that's a hard one, I guess it was on, it's probably World of Warcraft was the, like, the first game I really got into. I mean, I guess that's the first one for a lot of people. And I mean, I took off with MMORPGs and then I started getting more into shooters, tried some MOBAs out, went back and forth a bit and ended up here. Uh, I actually played Smite for a long time. I coached Smite um, back in Season 1 and Season 2. I coached uh, Titan and then after Season 2 it wasn't going so well and they just announced Paladins. I said, hey, I'm like FPS games are more hard for me so I'm going to commit there and just see what happens and it turned out it actually worked out pretty well. My role in the team is a tank slash flex player. Uh, I'm mainly a carry role, but I had to reschool myself to a tank player because there is a tank meta in the game, so you need a lot of tanks in the team. My role in the team is tank at the moment. My role in the team is to play main DPS and main flex. Uh, I play support. I've been kind of like flexy the whole time I've been in the team. I've just kind of flexed and what was needed was support, so I've been playing support for a while now. My career highlight, probably winning HRX um, in 2000, at the start of 2017, just being, finally being the world champion, you know, it's, you can never get a feeling like being the best in the world at something. Career highlights, DreamHack win and Master Slam win, I guess. My career highlight would definitely be joining NIP. I mean, this, this is probably the biggest thing, like being, I'm just so excited to join NIP and, and really represent an org that I really want to represent, you know, a lot of people in esports just, they try to get, get things along, you know, they try whatever they can to just keep themselves sustain, in a sustainable situation, but we get that and we get to represent the one org out of all of them all that we want to represent, you know, it's just a dream come true. Practice is going pretty well, it used to be a lot easier in the past, but now that the competitive scene is growing and more and more stuff is coming in and it's getting more serious, people are also getting more serious and we see more and more players coming to Paladins, therefore the competition is getting tighter. I mean, practice is practice, you know, it's very hard to to say like how the practice, how it actually affects what's going to happen in the tournament games, you know? I mean, it's always it's always fun, you know? We, we practice hours and hours a day and it's always fun and we always, I mean, we tend to do pretty well, but you know, it comes down to how much time you put outside that practice as well. You can only go so far with just grinding the game. It's also how you utilize that practice and how you analyze it to take it in tournament settings. Our chances in the Paladins Pro League is really good. I think we are the team that's supposed to be the number one team. 
but we have to per perform to be the number one team as well and uh, it's going to take a while but we're getting there. People consider us as the best team, the dream team. I think we're, we're the best team so I think we're going to be number one. Number one is, but that's easily doable. NIP is, again, it's the dream org for any Scandinavian player, I mean honestly any player in the world, you know, it's, we've already, we just joined NIP and we've already been here boot camping for, for a week now and we've already gotten all this very, all the various clothes and it's like, we, it, you feel so strong and so passionate about being able to represent them because they're just so kind to you and they're so, they welcome, welcome you with such open arms, it's, it's impossible not to just love every second of it. Funniest person in the team and why? Must be Bonker because he just doesn't care. Uh, I think Bonker, to me at least Bonker is the funniest, but that's mostly because he just fulfills every single Swedish stereotype I could ever think of. And it just it makes me it makes me laugh every time. I don't know, actually I think it's Bird because he, he's never funny, but when he's actually funny, it's actually funny because he never he never makes jokes. I am the funniest person in the team because I'm not so serious all the time. We definitely stand out because we have experience, you know. We have the five of the most experienced players in the game. Um, and then on top of that we have this, we have a very interesting dynamic in the team where we have some people who like to talk a lot, some people who are a little bit more quiet, some people who are much more aggressive and some that are very passive. And we have all these ranges and these spectrums of different types of players, different types of people, and it works really well together. Most serious guy in the team. I guess it's Bird. The most serious guy in the team is Bird. He takes everything very literal and he plans everything for us perfectly. That's why he's the team captain. The most serious player in our team would definitely be Bird again. It's hard to say. I guess honestly probably me. Um, I'm, I'm just not... I'm kind of the emotionless one. I tend to just keep calm, I don't get too excited, but I also don't get too down, and I t tend to just try to be serious all the time, but of course I can, I can go off on t tangents and have fun with the boys. <laughs> Who gets angry first in the team? Lazy. He gets mad because uh, me and him are having discussions and then I just thrill up all the time. I think Lazy and Bonker combined get really angry. The, they, neither of them get super tilted or super angry or anything, but then when one of them starts and the other disagrees, then it takes off like wildfire and just you can go anywhere. I really hope my teammates doesn't get the, this question because I already know that's me. 